Good everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, well, we're gonna be doing a full playlist of um, as you see, as you're hearing in the introduction, we're gonna be doing a full playlist of an, of an FPS game, and I'm gonna recommend some things to you guys. Um, like the FPS game I'm, I'm doing to teach in this tutorial was um actually learned it from um a guy on Udemy, and I'm gonna show you the course on Udemy. It's, it's a very cool course, so I want you guys to try the course. Out. It's a very good course. Okay, so now let's go check out the course. Go to Chrome. You see um, under Udemy, you see the number of the course building an FPS multiplayer game. So the course is a very cool course. It's nice. Is why I'm gonna why I learned how to create this um cool FPS game. I'm gonna be teaching now. This course is gonna give you more than what I can give you on this YouTube channel. So I think you should go get the course. I recommend it. it's a very cool course. Okay, now so for the assets we're gonna be using our tutorials. Under this course, you can get the assets. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. You're gonna get the um, the zip file. You're gonna zip it. Then you're gonna drag the um, content into uh, your our unity so let's go back to our unity and see what we can do in, uh, in unity okay so let, now we're back in unity so what we're gonna be doing first is okay so now for this because i told you this course we're just gonna be setting up so what we're gonna be doing in this part of the tutorial is that we're gonna be dragging in our okay let's bring in our um the um this environment sorry okay now the environment we're gonna be using is one um the city um the city that the tutorial guy taught me with so I, I think we're gonna import the zip file so we're gonna be using it in this tutorial so we're gonna drag it into our scene then we get since it's reset to zero 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 good so now you see the color is like this and we need a very very good color so now we look we we'll go to our materials and let's see what we're gonna do in the materials now we'll go on our materials and check out all the colors we have the, the same color at the screen here so we're gonna just click on it and next we're gonna do is under the shader we're gonna click on standard you see the road is colored back good so now we just keep going to look for another one then this one might not be part of it but we're just gonna convert everything because we don't know there's that one yeah so you're just gonna click standard you see it's converting so now you're just gonna do that for standard this one to standard i think this one is um the characters we're gonna be using so you're gonna, you're gonna see the effects now so let's just be going to so look okay this is a concrete so it's part of the uh, building so we're just gonna say standard yeah, so you see, it's already, we're already getting close. This is a concrete too. We're gonna do standard too. Because if you don't do like this, you have to start re repainting, and obviously, it's gonna take a lot of time. So let's just do this. It's faster. To the doors too. This is just really playing to a normal city, so it's cool. Everything you see, we just um, got a lot of problems, so we're just gonna fix everything. It's not gonna take a little bit of time, so. Okay, just a couple of more and we're done. Yeah, you can usually just pause the video. Or, sorry, you can just do what you want, but take your time, okay? Yeah, so that's not all. We still have some left. Why we did all now? Because we don't want to start doing when we're bringing our characters, we don't want to start doing this too. But for some characters, we're gonna change them because I'm gonna go to the. Um, I'm gonna show you a new site where you can get cool characters from for free. So we're gonna go there later to check out cool characters. But for now, let's just do this. So now, if we're gonna do anything, I'm just gonna be very fast and make our town more beautiful. See, it's going color now. It's okay, you see. We're not actually doing this for all, we're just doing it for this um, estate. We're doing it for all, sorry. We're not just doing it for this estate because if we do it for this um, city right here, is where I'm going to put the um, characters, the zombies, and everything. This is our fight, in this is our shooter game. We're gonna start, we're gonna start, start doing this again. So let's just do it once in the beginning of the game, and that's all. Okay, so I think we're almost done. See, we're almost done, just a little bit more on the. Um, you see, but you can see that the city is already getting okay. Now, some things are left. So, this one on the windows, you can look at the window. You see, the window is bad. So, look at the window too. Put this a standard, then the, the window finally. I don't know if there's a final one, we're just gonna scroll down to find out. There's something there, yeah. See, one more thing that is this strange color. So, let's look for it. I can sight it right over here. Okay, I've seen the roof. Yeah. Okay, I think that's all. 
Now, what we're gonna be doing next is. So I mean, what we're gonna be doing next is um, since we have the building, and if you click on the building, you're just gonna see that it has demarcations where the player can escape. So you can go around and make your own building, make your own um city. But I'm just gonna work with this since it's a tutorial. So next, what I'm gonna be doing is that I'm going to go under the f um the as the asset that to dragon. We go under the assets. We go under the characters. We go under the prefabs. Then we drag in the first person character. Yeah. So we're gonna just zoom in. So I'll click an F. Okay. See how it is and. Okay. It's nice. Okay. It's all there. But let's see how we see it from the game view. We can't actually see anything. But it's actually colored. So let's see what's. Let's see the materials you use to make in those things. You got all the prefabs, sorry. Characters, materials. Then just give him buff color. Okay, good. Okay, nice clear. Then all the weapons, we got the materials. Then um, the black material. Oh, well, let's take the weapon material. I prefer this, yeah. So let's see if we can see it. Yeah, maybe it's too far or something like that from the way the camera is okay so what we're gonna be doing next is um we're gonna have to align this with the camera so the camera will be able to see it properly so the next thing we're gonna be doing is that we're gonna be aligning to the camera so the camera will see it properly so so and actually why if you look at the camera if you look at this player you see it's only the hand the, the um, weapon and um sorry for this you see only the hand the weapon and neck because it's a first person player game so we are like the eye of the game we have the body so what we're just gonna say is the gun and the hand shooting gun so that way we have we they use this cool character but i think we're gonna we like to change the um and the character's body because we love very colorful things but you have your own preferences it's your choice if i put this is still my choice but it looks like a zombie here so i don't want that so if i still use this it's still okay if i use if you get if you have your own material you want to use it it's your business so everybody has their own choice so we're gonna just gonna use what we have here to go with but you should try different things i would like to see the different things you're gonna be trying so we're gonna change um, our play is already online so what we're gonna do is to carry our take our camera but first of all we're gonna unpack our prefab unpacking your prefab allows you to drag to make um to make things uh, like to make different um to make different assets or different uh, prefabs or different animate different image different um models Anything except you make anything of um, a child of a parent, so a parent has a prefab because I, I don't think my own will accept it, but some people don't accept it. Okay, you accepted it good. So we make it a child of the first person character, but I still prefer to unpack completely. So we're gonna unpack it completely, yeah. So that's cool. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna reset the position of the camera inside the player. Yeah, so that's you can reach now. Let's see what you look at. Oh, god, you see, we're gonna have to reset the camera more. So now we're gonna be resetting the camera more. So we're gonna do the position transform of the camera. So, um, then next, we're gonna be doing this. Okay, so now setting our camera, we're just gonna go a little bit further. So, what we're gonna do is that I'm gonna raise it up a little bit. So, let's see what I can do about that. Let me just see something like this. Okay, then I'm gonna take it to the left, sorry, to the right a little bit because you know, when you're shooting a gun, you make it looks more realistic when it's at the left. Okay, if you watch many war film, war movies, you're gonna, you're gonna understand what I'm saying. So, we're gonna move it to this angle, no, sorry, this angle. No, it's too far. I mean, something like okay, let me just give it a value. Minus zero dot zero two five. Oh, well, let's just make it three. Yeah, minus zero to zero three. Okay, so something like this, and here we're just gonna go make it a little bit off. So just go point zero five. Yeah. So now it's okay, and um, what we're gonna be doing next is is that we're gonna be you know if you look at this thing very clearly in the camera. You see that it's not clear and there's something about the camera we need to change so we're going to the main camera 
Then another main camera that's not that it has a lot of settings that we need to we have not checked. So we're gonna go under those settings right now. Okay, so what we're saying is it's called clipping planes or something like that. And if you use some type of unity, you're gonna see something like um, projection or those kind of things. So we're gonna go under clipping planes and then here we're gonna use something like 0, 0.0. Oh, it's good, sir. We use 0 is okay. We're gonna use 0 0.01. 0 is okay to me, but let's just use point zero zero zero, just to zero zero one. So it's nice. We see our, our camera is clear. So now what we're gonna be doing next is that. So now what we're gonna be doing next is this. On our characters, for we're gonna go to the prefabs. Then maybe since we have unpacked it already, just do this. Delete. Oh no, just leave it there. You create another one. Oh wait, I will rename this um, first person character. I love naming my characters, so I name it. Um, let's say I have cool names for this character. So just say, let me just call it our player. Okay, this is our player. We we'll call this a player. Okay, so if we name this player, we can now drag it in here as a new prefab. Yeah, that's cool. We have a new prefab here as a player. So now. What you think we need? What you think we need is um, we need a script. So now we want to. Oh, if we play this game now, they just that's what we just did because we have not actually gone anywhere yet. We're just gonna test what we just did. Like I'm actually playing this game now. You're not gonna enjoy anything from this game. You're gonna see that um, the game we can't actually move. We can't just do anything in this game, and I don't like that. Okay, so let's stop that first. What I mean is we're gonna be creating our own folder. Create folder and we'll call it we'll call it scripts. Yeah. Now that the script folder we're gonna create our first script, a C script. Yeah, the C script we're gonna create we're gonna call it because we love scoping, we wanna scope the whole we want to view. So we're gonna call it scope. Scope view, okay. Or scoping. No, let's look for something that is more more professional. We're gonna say something like um okay surveying or v no use whatever, use whatever I like but well, I'm just gonna use survey yeah you like surveying the whole area is there is it a matter of choice to use whatever I want okay um now this coding of a thing because we uh, I told you from our unity we open our script so the coding is gonna be our next tutorial so stay tuned after this series the second part of this um playlist is the next tutorial so thanks for watching this first part of the plays and what we did in this tutorial just to put your camera add um the player to the scene and all of that so next tutorial we start with scripting and the other tutorials come after that thanks thanks for watching this first tutorial